Hey there, Capricorn. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of August 21st. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have going on for you here. And let's see. Yeah, uh, pretty interesting. You have three fives, so definitely needing to take a risk uh, this week. Five of diamonds, uh, very good card for starting anything new. I mean, it's literally the card of, that says just do it. You know, just start something. If you have any ideas or plans or you want to hang out with somebody or whatever, uh, do, just get started. That's what this card says. It says there's going to be a lot of success. Again, I wouldn't worry about the retrograde this month. Everybody always asks me every single time there's a retrograde. They're like, yeah, but shouldn't I start? Shouldn't I wait to start something? Shouldn't I wait for this or that? And I always tell people, you know, if you wait for all of these things, you'll you'll never get anything done, number one. Number two, uh, like I said, I've started so many things under retrogrades that I still do, that I still have. You know, the list goes on and on. Uh, so, again, I think that it's just important to just get started. Even if it changes, even if it turns into something different, I think now is the time to do it. Uh, also, a card of unexpected news. So a lot of you could get a lot of surprises. I wouldn't normally say that, but you have three fives this week, which is pretty crazy. Um, you know, fives are kind of tied to Uranus, and so there could be a lot of surprises this week. Uh, I would say four, the better, because again, the cards are all pretty much positive here. Next, you have the five of spades, needing to take a risk. Uh, this card is sometimes called, like, breaking free. So, you know, this can represent you breaking out of some sort of limiting situation, you kind of, like, moving forward in a very quick way. I'm also getting that, for some of you, yes, like, maybe you start something this week that doesn't last very long, but I think that it will allow you to do more things in the future. So it's kind of like one of those things that's like a bridge. You know, you kind of like have to just do this one little quick little, maybe it's like a quick little business or maybe it's a quick relationship that teaches you something very important. And, uh, you know, but again, acts like a bridge in the future, if that makes sense. Um, I'm getting an image of a bridge in my head. So that's why I'm saying that. Uh, but I think that would be a good idea for you. Also, uh, plans of moving in the future. Again, it's coming in very clearly that I don't think you'll, for some of you, maybe you're moving right now, but for others, I think you're actually going, maybe you've been thinking about moving or maybe you even haven't, but I think that for some of you, you might be uh, moving in the future, even if you don't see it yet. Um, and again, for some reason, it's coming up now. So, you know, plan for that, maybe. Uh, next, you have the Jack of Spades. Um, and I would say needing to be resourceful, needing to look at your resources and kind of plan those out uh, appropriately. Also a card of being a child, needing, maybe you just need to have some fun this week, just do some things that kind of are childlike. Uh, with this card, I also always say be careful of doing things like speeding, drinking and driving, any of that. Just don't do it because uh, this card can represent the police and getting pulled over or something bad like that. So again, um, you know, if you're drinking, even if you're only having one drink, I would say don't drive or, you know, get an Uber or something like that because, you know, might there might be a world of problems that you just don't need to deal with. Next, you have the Five of Hearts. Again, your third five. Uh, five of Hearts is a card that represents, again, the birth of something new. It can represent jealousy. I would say for some of you, you might end up, you know, kind of being very successful at work or having a very successful moment, and that could lead to a lot of jealousy. Just ignore it uh, with this card. And for others of you, again, it just represents the birth of something new, starting a new business, starting a new relationship, uh, even just starting a new diet or new spiritual belief. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be anything major. It could just be something, uh, you know, kind of very, very small. I would also say that for those of you, I do feel like for those of you that are in business or for any of you who handle money, I would say just just be very careful. Just really look at things and, and really make sure you're paying very close attention uh, to the money. Again, I, th I feel like for some of you, you're going to need to, uh, you know, to uh, quote the office. I think you're going to need to use some fancy financial footwork here to... Um, kind of like get a business going or to make a bunch of money you know that you might need to like quickly shuffle around some cash or something like that just pay very close attention i think if you do it here's your reward right here eight of diamonds a lot of money so again if you're in one of those situations again just pay a lot of attention double check everything and you'll be fine um but the eight of diamonds is a very good card represents financial success on the horizon uh, coming in but it says that there are potentials for potential for mistakes these mistakes will be beginner mistakes uh, Sagittarius also had this card um, and so you know just pay attention to those kind of like beginner mistakes that you could make and if you do that again I think that you could be um, very very successful um, 
you know, like I said, it's a very good card for money. And then finally, you have the four of clubs. I always say that when this comes up during Mercury Retrograde, it just represents the, Mer the Mercury Retrograde. Uh, but it's also a great card for um, having your mind be very clear. So even though we're in a retrograde, I think that, you know, think your thoughts and your ideas could be uh, very much in line with the truth. So pay attention to your thoughts. But looks like a one heck of a week, three fives. Like I said, wow, um, you know, definitely take some risks with the, with those fives. You know, and, and like I said, plan out your ideas. Uh, five star cards of adventure, cards of moving, cards of like having fun. So make sure to do all those things. Cards of taking um, advantage of hobbies and having hobbies. So do all that stuff. But uh, looks very interesting. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.